I've lived in Digo City in the southern Philippines in the province of Davao del Sur now for eight months of my life. And while establishing a home base in the Philippines, things have come up and it's time for this part of my life to be in the past as I am getting ready to leave Digo City. So I'm gonna talk in this video about what brought me here, what's going on, why I'm leaving, and what the future of this channel is. Stick around and I hope you enjoy the video. So Digo City is the provincial capital of Davao del Sur in the southern Philippines on the island of Mindanao. It's got two big malls, or two small malls, I would say, inside the city that I've spent time at. I've spent time at the different parks in the surrounding province area and really deep, dive deep into the culture here of the southern Philippines and explored this city and this province. And I've had an amazing time doing so. They've got incredible things. The province has like a man-made island that I did a whole video on, on Pasig Islet off of the coast. I've done videos in a park where the city of Digo set it up for the people. It got lots of people interested in it. There's other cities around the Philippines that are actually communicating with Digo City about how they did their park and what they can do to improve their own cities. This city has grown and made expansions by leaps and bounds over the last five years. It's really amazing coming back here. I've enjoyed the eight months that I've spent here. But now I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the reasons that brought me here. And then finally, we'll talk about why I'm leaving. So I originally came to Digo City in March of 2022 with my family. And one of the reasons that we came here, we were traveling the world looking for a home base in Asia, looking for a home base in Europe that we could basically split our time between and then travel around the world. We had already explored and done some exploratory work in Thailand. And then we came to the Philippines in Digo City, which is my wife's home. It's where she was born. It's where her parents still live. And we came here, one, so she could see her parents. And so our son, who had not seen them in about five years, could spend some time with them. So it was important to be able to spend some time with the family. But when we got here, we did some checking on places to live, did lease a home. We tested our internet speeds, made sure everything was up to what we were basically needing. This province, this city did not tick all of the boxes, although it's an incredibly beautiful place. We decided for the short term, while we were waiting for our next son to be born, that we would do that. That way my wife would have her support network here with her family. Uh, we were familiar with the area. Uh, it wasn't too far from Davao and from the airport in case they needed to get out and get back in. And so it really ticked off a lot of the boxes, but not all of them. And we knew that this was always going to be probably a temporary stay until we found where we were ultimately going to end up. And so we came here, we enjoyed our time here. And then we started looking about where we were going to move next. That was actually my wife was putting the impetus on that, that we needed to go ahead and do it. Again, the place we were renting, eventually the OFWs who own the house were going to be coming back. Uh, that got delayed until next year, so we could have stayed longer, but we had always planned on being out of that place by the end of December. Digos was near the mountains. It had two small malls. It had you know, the basics of everything that you would kind of need to get to live and to eat and to explore the Philippines. It has some beaches. They're okay. They're not the best beaches in the Philippines. They're not the amazing stuff you see up in the Visayas and things, but they're nice. They're, they're good to go to and have a good time with the family. And it was a really good place to explore from the bike because you don't have to be in a big city and have tons of really bad traffic, although the traffic, as you can see, gets pretty bad here. It's still a good place to explore on a bike or a scooter, uh, getting around from town to town and just, you know, getting out and about compared to what it's like in a big city. However, it is not really convenient for getting to an airport and getting around to either the rest of the country or to go internationally. So the nearest airport to here is Davao and it will take, depending on your method of transportation, between an hour and a half to two. In fact, yesterday it took me four hours to get from Davao 
back to Degos because of traffic and rain. So it's not that far, but just in time-wise, it takes a long time to get back and forth. So if you're hopping in and out of airports, that's not a good thing. It also is, unless you have a car, is going to be rather pricey to go back and forth, to hire somebody to drive you or to rent a car or if you're not going to do that, to take the buses, which is not exactly the most comfortable thing on the planet and not something I'd want to do if I was gonna be taking more than just a basic backpack for traveling. So the basic things that I'm looking at when I'm looking at a place to have a home base was gonna be I have to have high speed, stable internet that's reliable in order to manage businesses that are overseas, to communicate with clients, and just basically to do what I do in this global economy. Uh, so if you're a remote worker, uh, you know what I'm talking about here. If you're someone that runs businesses overseas, you know what I'm talking about and you have to have those. And the Philippines, although it's a wonderful country for vacationing, uh, for all kinds of different things, retirement, it's not the best place for what you would call digital nomads or people who are entrepreneurs and have businesses that they own that are in different countries that kicks off their revenue streams to them. The second thing that you have to look for is just convenient stuff. Other than the airports that I talked about, I'm talking about the grocery stores, the shopping, the malls. And although the malls where I was currently living are okay, they're small malls, they're not big enough to get what I would need just by running to the store um, on a regular basis. Um, now, I'm pickier than a lot of people, and I hear lots of people saying that they can live without certain things and so forth, and that's fine, and that's great if that's their lifestyle. I did not leave America so that I could go and explore different countries and live in different countries and have what I have constructed to be a much better lifestyle to I can do without or I can just make it. I don't want to just make it. I want to live, want to enjoy my life, and I want wherever my home base is in Asia or in Europe to have the things that I need on a regular basis other than when I'm traveling around. And so I'm going to need some more stability. And so that is what we were looking at. And we always had that figured when we first came here about different regions of the Philippines. And it really, really boils down to there's only really two that really fit for what we need. And so we are moving, and we are moving to a different place in the Philippines. Guys, make sure if you like this content, you subscribe, hit the notification button. YouTube is always not showing my notifications anymore or putting things in people's feed. I've had a lot of people that have contacted me now telling me that. So if you wanna see me again, make sure you check back occasionally to see if I've actually posted a video because I might have put out videos for two weeks and you haven't seen them because YouTube's suppressing it. Also hit the like button if you like this content. We'll get right back into it. So I have spent the last several weeks looking at places um, that my wife has dragged me to in Davao. We originally had thought we would end up in Davao anyway, but that is where we're going to end up. We've already signed a contract on the place uh, that we are going to be staying at, and it's going to be it's much nicer than where I'm staying now. It's got all kinds of different amenities, um, different things weren't necessarily deal, deal, deal killers, uh, but that worked out. So this has got uh, three bathrooms with showers, uh, hot water throughout the entire uh, uh, apartment, or it's not an apartment, it's a townhouse. So it's got three bathrooms with the hot water. The kitchen has hot water. It's got an indoor kitchen. It's got an outdoor kitchen. It's got a garden. It's got four bedrooms. It's got air conditioners in every single room in the house, and they're all inverter air conditioning. So even though there's more air conditionings and we might be running the air conditioners more because of the model of the air conditioning, we'll probably actually have a much lower bill than we would here living at the province where one, the electric rates are higher than they are in Davao, but two, the units we were using were not inverter units. Uh, the window aircon units were very old, weren't really, um, that good and so based on again a western family had been living in there with several kids we know what their electrical bills were for the last couple of years and it's about a third of what i'm paying now and they were running more than one all the time so that's going to be much nicer it's also 
very convenient to get to the airport. I'm literally a taxi ride away to get to the airport and can be, you know, even the worst time of day in traffic, I can be at the airport in 20 minutes. I can get a taxi from the airport and get home. I can ride my bike anywhere in the city. It's going to be more congested and I can use that bike then to get out of the city and then to go travel around more. There's transportation much better in the evenings and the off hours in the city for the rest of my family when they're wanting to get around if they don't have transportation of their own. Now we'll tell you that finding rental units in Davao is not the easiest thing to do. And a lot of the stuff that's available is just stuff that is, in my opinion, is overpriced for what it is. It is not up to standards that I see in different areas. We got one, was really amazed. We are paying a lot more for it. So where I'm at now, I think I'm paying, I think $140 US dollars a month, um, whereas I'm going to pay $35,000 pesos per month in the new place and my, my current one's tied to us dollars the new one's tied to pesos so that's a lot less money for me i don't know what the exact exchange on that is right now um, so you can look up what thirty-five thousand pesos is at today's market rate which i think is 57 57 and something pesos to the dollar so if enough people are interested and they want to know about renting specifically in Davao and the experience that I went through and the best ways to find stuff, because I went through all different kinds of things, what's available, what to look for, y'all just leave a comment below. If I get enough of them that say do it, you know, a hundred or so comments that say, yeah, do a video on that, then it's worth producing because I know enough people are interested in it. So Digos has been fun dealing with the traffic, which can be very frustrating. Um, sometimes you're happy to be alive afterwards when a tricycle or a dog or something doesn't run out right in front of you, but it's been a learning experience. The malls have been good. The parks have been good. The people have been wonderful. I thoroughly enjoy our market here because we can get really good fresh vegetables. When I went to Davao, we found a market that's very close to where we live. Um, it's not that difficult or far, much farther than we're now in Digos, but that basically had about the same prices as we have here at the market in Digos. So when we go to Davao, we'll still have access to those wonderful fresh fruits, those wonderful fresh vegetables, and all of that really good seafood that comes out of the sea and is trucked in on a daily basis into the Davao region. And that's going to be really nice in addition to the grocery stores that are going to be better, a little bit more expensive in some cases. Sometimes they're actually cheaper on some items than we actually saw when while we were living here in Digos. I have absolutely enjoyed living in Digos. I love this place. And for someone who's retiring and just wants a more simple life, um, if you're not dialed in and need to be near airports and need those other things. Uh, if I was older, I could see, you know, in retirement doing something like here. Um, but for now, it's a, not a place that is going to be as convenient and will end up, even though I can live less on a daily basis here in Digos, over time, the costs would add up to make it about the same price living there, but for not the conveniences that I'm going to get. So it's with a sad heart that we say goodbye to Digos, but with a happy heart that we are embarking on a future that should be a little better and we can always come back and visit and there is going to be more content coming up from the Davao del Sur province that I've already filmed. Uh, there's some other videos, some resorts, some other things that I want to show you in this area. So you are going to be getting more content from the Davao del Sur area. It's not like you're never going to see it again on my channel. It's just those things haven't been released yet. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I know this has been a ramble, but I wanted to give everybody an update on what's going on and where I'm going and what the future of the channel was. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, make sure you subscribe so you get more of this content in the future. Guys, take care and God bless. <music>